All right, hey guys, uh, as you guys know, I teach um, visuals on my channel, uh, how to uh, do um, jewelry work or tools or that kind of thing. So right now I'm soldering posts. So I thought I'd show you guys how to solder posts if you guys are curious about how to do it. So now I have the small uh, stud earrings, they're, they're stars, and I have this post. So I'm gonna show you guys where to hold the post it's very important where to hold it from. So when I put the post here, you have to not hold from the bottom because you will uh, prevent the post getting hot enough so the solder won't uh, melt on the post. If I hold it from the top, then I leave too much room and that would allow the fire to melt the post because it is very thin and you can melt it so my uh, my place is this is where i hold it from and this will prevent the to get too hot and it will be enough hot where the solder is uh, melted and it's on the post so i'm gonna go ahead and put grab a solder here like this first i want to put a little bit so this is the thing with this small fire that i'm using you have to not use the tip because the tip is too hot. You want to use like around this area where it's like very, very hot, almost like uh, uh, almost about 300 or some degree heat blowing uh, straight. So I'm going to grab with that heat like that, get it on the post, little blob of solder. Next is <coughs> Okay, so next is, there's a, you have to, the solder loves to go where the heat is. You have to make uh, that area that you want to solder, uh, the, the, uh, the solder to go. Uh, you have to make sure that that area is heated and there is a temperature at least 250 degrees, somewhere around there, pretty hot uh, degree temperature. And then you can apply the solder to it. Now, if you realize I'm not using flex, uh, I don't have to because I'm the master. If you have to, you should use the green uh, green uh, water, which is the flex, and that will allow the solder to melt easily. So um, the reason I'm not using it because uh, I'm gonna heat it one time. If I heat it twice, it's gonna make the gold itself dirty and the solder is not going to melt. So um, watch and see how I do just one time. I'm going to talk and explain. All right, so I'm going to heat up, heat up the, bring up the temperature right there. I see the temperature coming up. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to keep on heating and that's, I'm going to stay, stay, don't let go. Now I can let go. If I move, if I move it, 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 the solder will break. So you don't want to stay there as much as you can until the solder is pretty good dry, and then it works. So I'm gonna do another one for you guys. Get a small solder, heat it up. There you go. Ready. One more. There you go. It's a big connection in the valve. So yes, so that's how you solder a uh, post. It has a pretty good technique. Once you get it down, it's easy. If you have any questions, leave some uh, comment down below. I will try to help you guys tell you how 
you can solder post on any surface. But this is, in general, this is much difficult than it, you know, on a bigger surface. Only thing the difference is bigger surface, you have to make sure that whole surface is hot. Then you can solder it. This, it, it, you can make it hot faster. Only thing is, it's much smaller. You can melt the post and it won't sit right and all that. You just have to um, practice. And practice makes it perfect. And thank you for watching. Appreciate it, guys.